Okay, what's up, YouTube? This your boy, Rob the Water God. Today, we're going over Sam Bankman and his FTX messages that he sent. So, we're going to look into these messages and see, um, is he, did he really run off with billions or was this a real mistake, okay? So, let's get into it. So, guys, right here, it says, uh, before his empire collapsed, Bankman Free was actually was actively engaged in lobbying in Washington for a regulatory framework for cryptocurrency. So, guys, if you didn't know, he was the second leader donor, second leading donor to the Democratic Party. So that raised a lot of suspicion in the whole case. Um, but also. There were a lot of NBA player, well, Tom Brady, Steph Curry, Shaq, and a couple of others are being sued. See him here. It's like <laughs> Shaquille O'Neal. Okay, a lot of these names are being sued for, you know, even speaking about the crypto. All right. So uh, here, guys, it says uh, bank. Uh, Binance CEO CZ Zhao are openly skeptical of government regulation. Bankman Freed has, has largely avoided criticizing regulators, but in our conversation, he dismissed their role. He characterized his past conciliatory statements like when he said just last month that some amount of crypto regulation would be definitely good as a little more than PR. In doing so, he all but confirmed the view of critics who have argued that his overtures to Washington were much more about image than substance. So basically, guys, they're saying he basically was paying Washington to uh, have a good image. So let's go over the text. All right. Says, so you said a lot of stuff about how you wanted to make regulations just good ones. Was that pretty much just PR too? And he put, there's no one really out there making sure good things happen and bad things don't. Okay. So usually there's only one toggle. Do more or do less. Yeah, just PR. Fuck regulations. They make everything worse. They don't protect customers at all. Put, so it does seem like some kind of consumer protection would be good, though. Like maybe regulators can deliver it, but sure does look like consumers lose their shirts a, bit, a bunch. Agreed on both. It would be good, but regular, regulators can't do it. And you put, and you couldn't do it, and CZ sure isn't doing it. So who? They actually distinguish between good and bad. Just do more business. Do less business and put up more moats. Versus put up fewer moats. No one will. But you want to know the truth? No one is doing it in the rest of finance either. So you put it. Or for the matter of fact, other areas that are regulated. The FDA isn't helping. The giant crackdown on big tech has no point or goal or, or philosophy behind it. OFAC is slowly undermining U.S. interests globally and is the single biggest threat to the U.S. being superpower. ESG has been perverted beyond recognition. <laughs> So they put, I'm sort of putting together a picture of where you don't believe anyone is doing anything for good reasons. You don't believe the good guys are good. So why not make it big and then be the one who gets to decide what's good, what good is. And if you have to do sketchy stuff along the way, everyone else is doing it too. And plenty of them are worse. And people still like them as long as they win. Is that fair? 
what we're left with at the end of the day is only the rich can amass and only they can make or lose money. Some truth to it, but it's also true that I didn't want to do sketchy stuff. There are huge negative effects from it. And I didn't mean to. Each individual decision seemed fine, and I didn't realize how big their sum was until the end. So, sounds like he making up for it with that text. Um, but it says here, on being willing to behave unethically. One question on which I've seen widespread speculation is whether Bankman Freed thought it was okay to do unethical things for the greater good. A position that hardcore utilitarians, which Bankman Freed has identified as in the past, might hold. The question happens to be one I had asked him in the interview this summer, which I had just re listened to the night before our Twitter conversation. At the time, of course, I thought the ethical dilemma where Bankman Freed had perhaps crossed the line was whether it was accepta acceptable to run a crypto exchange in the first place and whether the good he claimed he meant to do made it okay. So a lot of people, a lot of people I said to Bankman Freed in the early interview would think of starting a crypto company to make billions of dollars the way I would think of starting a tobacco company to make billions of dollars. Deeply immoral. Presumably, there's some line where you shouldn't do something that bad, even for good reasons. I'm curious whether you think there's some line. And if so, where would you draw the line? There is some line, he told me then. The answer can't be there is no line or else, you know, you could end up doing massively more damage than good. And I think more generally, you could say, OK, fine, but just like subtract that out. But I don't think it's that simple either, because there are a lot of complicated but important second order harms that come if your core business is bad for the world. In terms of your ability to work with partners and your ability to work with partners in your philanthropy efforts. So you could imagine that if the Philip Morris Foundation had really good ideas about how to improve the world, they would probably, they probably would still have a really hard time working with the Gates Foundation. So I don't think it's more complicated than that. And you have to seriously contend with what the impact is on your direct work. So I returned those questions in our Twitter conversation, those well-considered ideas about balance and ethical imperatives. It's not true. Not really, he said now. So that's from what he said there. So, guys, it just seems like, you know, he's doing, you know, I suggest everybody to read this article from Vox in its entirety. But it definitely seems like he is, uh, you know, he's covering himself up. This may be a PR run for him that he's trying to put together. But, yeah. So, let me know what you guys think. You know, he's claiming on what happened was he took another cryptocurrency and he just, you know, he missed... It was bad, account, sloppy accounting, as he said. And that's the reason why everybody's funds is lost. But, hey. In other news, like I told you guys earlier, Tom Brady, Steph Curry, Shaq, all of these guys are being sued uh, for their commercials and the roles that they play with FTX. So, man, crypto is almost as... Uh, is down for the count right now. So we'll see what happens with that. So guys, hey, make sure you leave me a comment section. And uh, leave me a comment on what you think about this. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.